The NBC News team had for days observed the state of the two major state hospitals' infrastructure and the cleanliness. The Katutura Intermediate Hospital's nurses' homes had garbages piling up with trash scattered all over the place. One cannot miss to see the dilapidated state of these buildings, occupied by the country's health workers. Old scrapped cars that have gathered dust for ages are also found in the parking bay. At the Ventuk Central Hospital, the fence is damaged and falling to the ground. While at the nurses' home, proper sanitation is questionable. This is the nurses' home here at the Central Hospital. Open defecation and an open drainage. There is also a site of flowing water from a burst pipe at some parts of the hospital. This we found at the Namibian Institute of Pathology. Here, our team also noticed medications and some health passports lying around. When approached for comment, particularly on the nurses' home, Chief Medical Superintendent at the Ventuk Central Hospital says the apartments were supposed to be closed down for renovation many years ago. However, Dr. David Uyrab said staff members refuse to allow for renovations. Employees say they cannot afford rental costs for private houses. He added that the ministry is planning to form a private-public partnership to run the hospital's nurses' accommodation in the future. On the part of the hospital's hygiene state, the chief medical superintendent said the ministry take all necessary precautions to ensure that harmful substances do not get in the public space and all harmful waste are burned. So how can we expect our medical personnel to maintain hygiene in our wards when they live in such conditions? Chulana Fuka, NBC News, Ventuk.